Okay, here we are. Now, this could very well be the last part. Um, we'll have to see. Um, but anyway, let's crack back on. It's Titi Poco. It was Titi Poco. I still hadn't forgiven him for knocking me out with his poison dart. These are Georges' shades, right? Georges? Has he been here? Georges! <gasps> Where is he now? Who is that? What's that? It looks like the stone we bought from Paris, but it's different. Yes, it has a carving of an eagle. That clinches it. Georges must have found this stone in the Caribbean and managed to hide the stone when the village was attacked by Karzak's men. I hope to God that Georges was all right. Oh, Georges. Where's Georges? <laughs> Georges has been here, right? He was pointing to the smoldering remains of a hut. Where's Georges? Right, there's various items here by the looks of it. We got a cup and a barrel. Bucket. Barrel. That barrel. That barrel would have looked great on my patio, filled with shrubs. Shrubs? There was nothing in the barrel. It was a small drinking vessel made from some kind of gourd. Gourd? Oh that goodness. cup was no use to me. It had a hole in it. Okay. There are ways around that. Um, okay. Let's do a little sweep. That'll do. That's where the fire was. There's a big barrel there. Maybe George is in there. I was sure Titipoko wasn't pointing at that barrel. No, have a look. You never know. The barrel was too heavy to move. Okay. Uh -huh. It was a very hot and blackened stone. Pick it, it was up. too hot to pick up. Right, we have a puzzle. We have water maybe in here. A cup with a hole in it. You know where we're going with this. It was a smashed lantern, probably the cause of this destruction. I didn't need the lantern since it was still daylight. Besides, it was broken. Okay. What else? Oh, let's go over here. Nothing more. Okay, so we have to work with what we've got. Um, so. There was nothing useful in the bag. <laughs> right. They were Georges' shades. Georges. Okay, right. Um, can't move the barrel. Right, maybe Titi Poco can. There was nothing I wanted to ask oh, you. Oh, hell. There was nothing in the barrel. Nothing in the barrel. <clears throat> cup of hole in it. cup was no use to... Um... Put the card in the bottom. <laughs> yep. Give some chalky to Titty. He wouldn't have wanted it. How do you know? Right, smashed lantern, which she's not doing anything about. That's too hot. That's too heavy. Oh. The water could have cooled the stone <laughs> if I could figure out a way of getting it into the barrel. Hey, which water? The water could have cooled the stone if I could figure out a way of getting it into the barrel. 
What water? Hey. Um. Excuse me. Um. Oh, let's go right over here. If there's water in the barrel, or there isn't, I mean, uh, where else is the water? Aha! One thing I was sure of, those underpants weren't drawers. How do you know? Maybe Georges can make use of these. <laughs> They were lovely underpants, really. Have a sniff of them. Aha, right. I'm, I'm working a plan. I'm working out a plan. Soak the underpants in water and squeeze it onto the fire. That's my plan. Apparently there's water in this. I thought about washing the underpants, but I didn't have any washing powder. For God's sake. Put your bag in there. Hmm. hmm. Use the underpants. The underpants weren't thick enough to protect my hands. They look pretty sizable things. Um, use the key. No. Um, melt the chocolate on top. No. Um, yeah, use the knife. Um, it was the Jaguar stone which I found in London. Mm -hmm. Okay, this barrel's empty and she won't pick the damn thing up. There was nothing in the barrel. Yeah, pick it up though. That barrel would have looked good. Mm -hmm. Washing the underpants. Hmm. See, I don't trust this game now. Something might have gone wrong again. Aha. Hey, Shorty, make yourself useful and help me with this barrel. Why has that suddenly become available? Okay. Thanks. Bizarre. I recognize that. It's the Coyote Stone. Okay. I had the Coyote and Jaguar Stones. Titi Poco had the eagle, according to the shaman. That's all we needed to deal with Tezcatlipoca. Pity he hadn't any ideas for dealing with Karlzak. Oh, he's coming. What is it? Where are you pointing? The ground was covered with ashes. Ashes? The thought that they might be human chilled me to the bone. Mm. It was a smashed lantern. I didn't need the lantern. Titty is pointing at something. Ah, <laughs> exit. Okay, here we go. Gonna club it, club us over the head now. We arrived to find Georges well. being led up the stairs. We clearly didn't have much time. <gasps> Crikey Moses. Rope, always rope. It was a length of strong rope. Pick it up. See, it's interesting this game uses a lot of um, red herrings this time. So the barrel and the cup and all that. Oh hell. One of those. Wrap it around Tiddy Poco. Nope. Okay. Titty Poco seems to have aged about fifty years. 
The scaffold gantry went all the way up the pyramid. Climb it up. The scaffold uh -huh. gantry went all the way up the pyramid. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. The scaffold. Uh -huh. It was uh -huh. a length of. This. The engine looked like it was supposed to power the lift. Uh -huh. Lever, button. There was a lever mounted on the side of the motor. It was a small but very enticing button. Don't you worry, we'll be pressing that fuel cap. The cap was attached to the lift engine by a chain. Let's take the cap off. Hey. We've got a generator as well. It was an old electricity generator. Very good. All right, can we get shot here? Mm. Oh, right. hell. Too late. I had been seen. Bonjour, Capitaine. <laughs> Only Sergeant, pretty one. What are you doing here? Uh... Right, that's the uh, matey from Quaramonte. Who was that? Oh, that's Karzak. And that's matey's mother. Uh, let's go for the big guns. Auntie? I mean, La Presidenta. La Presidenta is your aunt? Mais oui! Anyway, Auntie said I could watch what Cousin Raoul was doing. But you're not Quaramondian. No, I was raised in France. It's a long story. May I go up the pyramid? Ah, uh, we have strict instructions not to let anybody pass. Oh, but I've told you who I am. Surely nobody would mind. Well... Oh, please. <laughs> I'd be ever so grateful. I tell you what. I'll ask Pablo if it's okay for you to go up. If Pablo saw me, I'd be dead. <laughs> uh, no. It's not worth the bother. I'm not really that interested in their stupid pyramid anyway. Well, okay. It's men's work up there anyway. I'll just run along and play around here, okay? <laughs> okay, you do that. Okay, you do that. Right, I'm just gonna save it quick. Period. Say spell it. I don't know. That looks wrong. Anyway, I got it. Uh, right. It looked like Karzak was using Quaramonte and troops and local Indians as his guards. It looked like. Mm -hmm. It looked like. Mm -hmm. It looked like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Can we talk to the others? I didn't want to push my luck by talking with the guards again. Okay, okay. Got some ticky lanterns. Stairs. Oh, hello. There was an unlit torch by the base of the steps. Have that. I could think of no reason why I would want to pull a heavy torch from the ground. George would have had that in his pocket. We're in two shakes of a lamb's titty. The steps were guarded by a bunch of Kazakh's thugs. So we can Those go. jackals weren't going to let me past. Okay, Nico, okay, chill. Right, so we're gonna have to get up this way. Let's have a chat with Titty Poco. Hmm, chocolate maybe. How did way. you hook up with a maniac like Karzak in the first place? Karzak, whoop whoop, loco! <laughs> yes, he scares me too. Chocky. Would you like some chocolate, Titty Poco? It's good vintage. <laughs> You're smarter than you look. Okay, doesn't want the chalky. Right. Um, let's try the lever. If I'm, you know, sure I do that. Let's press the button anyway. The button didn't seem to do anything. Hmm. This is going to be a puzzle that pisses me off. Hello. Tch. 
It looked like a fuel line. Right. Let's cut it. Shit. Is that the thing to do? The fuel from the severed line had formed a pool. Right. We need to light that thing. Um, I was thinking we'd get the fuel in the uh, engine. Um, I guess we need a spark of some kind. Hmm. Hello. Ah, yes. Maybe make a fuse. Would that work? Will it fuck? Bollocks. No! Oh god. Mm hmm. Hello, wait a second. Cylinder. A cylinder. It was a small, screw fit cylindrical housing. Right, let's get that. I can't see where this is going, to be honest, but. Uh, maybe you can fill that up. Right, we've got a cup of fuel now. That would make sense. Yes. That was lucky. Very misleading, some of this, I must say. Okay, so, right, so this will be, a, ah, it's an elevator, yes. It was a simple wooden platform lift, used for shifting equipment, I presumed. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Right, I'll tell you what. Let's have a word with him. We might be able to get there him to I want. forget it. <laughs> right, lever. So that might make the thing go up. Maybe we can put the rope in the elevator. In the elevator. She turns to the left, so it would imply it's... No, 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 no. Oh, for God's sake. Right. Maybe we use it on Titty. Hmm. Titty Poco, I have an important job for you. Take this rope to the top of this scaffolding and throw it over the top. Rope. Hmm. My logic was slightly different. I was thinking we just... Uh, I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> Click and hope. Okay. So I would have thought that the lift would operate anyway. So what's the point of the rope? Other than a getaway, maybe? Okay. Right, okay. So maybe we can attach the rope to the engine. Let's try it. The rope hung down from the top of the gantry. <laughs> Aha. We have a working lift. Um, so we just need to press the button now. I guess. The motor spluttered into Hello. life. Hmm, so the lever would reverse it, maybe. Yes. Right, hopefully he can operate it for us. Yes. Kitty Poco, when I tell you, 
I want you to copy what I am doing. Copy. Okay? Copy. Mm hmm. Jerica. I realized those bastards were going to sacrifice George to Tezcatlipoca oh, over my dead body. Right. Shit's getting real. I'll save you, George. Thankfully, George was the only one to notice me. Where are they? The eclipse is about to happen. Patience. Your mother will be here soon and Karzak will be close behind. Just keep the Yankee covered and leave the worrying to others. Yeah, Raoul. <laughs> the maniacs were going to sacrifice Georges. Shut up, Stobart. Just shut up. Calm down. He's no threat. Hey, Raoul, why don't you do us both a favor and shoot Pablo? You're very funny, Stobart. <laughs> I haven't forgotten Marseille. When Karzak cuts your heart out, I'll be the one laughing. I'll bet I'm not the only one due for the chop around here either. Hey, Raoul? I'm warning you. Raoul was a bundle of raw nerves. I hoped George wouldn't push him too far. George is uh, getting inside his head. Okay, so how did they notice Matey scampering up Titty Poco? That's an interesting thing. Okay, we've got ammunition, boxes. I'm going to save it again, if you don't mind. Saving Joji. Okay. There were a few sealed crates and drums. None of them looked like they might be useful. The crates and drums were sealed, and I had no way of getting into them. Karzak's goons had left an ammunition belt lying around. Mm hmm. Yeah, well, I've heard of that. I ain't got a gun, but. Oh, I know. I could chuck them in the fire. It was a round of ammunition. Look at all the items we've got left. Oh my god. Got a key as well. Okay, let's. There were a few yeah, seeds. Okay. It was Pablo, Karzak's right hand sadist. I suppose we can't talk to him. Incense pot. It smelled coppery, like blood. <sighs> the whole place stank like an abattoir. Oh god. I couldn't get near the pot unseen. Okay. General Raoul Graziento. I didn't fancy Raoul's chances once Karzak didn't need him anymore. It was George. My dear, dear George. It was a stone table. Given the history of the place, I wondered how many poor wretches had lost their lives and hearts upon it. Hmm. Karzak and his pet vermin had got George tied to the sacrificial table. I had to come up with a plan, or he was as good as dead. Okay, my plan so far is to throw the ammo belt in the incense pot. We can go back down, apparently. Hmm, no. I couldn't get the belt into the flames without Pablo seeing me. Oh, rat. Hmm. Right, that's all I had, so I'm stuck now. Let's try talking. If Pablo had seen me, he'd <laughs> have killed me. It was as simple as that. Same me. I might have been able to <laughs> talk the general around if Pablo hadn't been there. Okay. Right. Tell you what, let's go back down. Does that help? Talk to Titty. There was nothing I wanted mm. to ask him. Mm -hmm. hmm. 
I really, I really. Okay, I thought we might have something else to do down here, but apparently not. Why would they allow you to come back down again? That's what I'm curious about. You know what to do, old chum. Good lad. Okay. The crates and drums were see The crates. All uh, right. Knife. No. <laughs> I don't think so. Let's try the box. That isn't it at all. Right, knife Pablo in the head. If Pablo had seen me, it um, it was a round of. Hmm, interesting. Uh, put that on your head. No. If Pablo. Had hmm. Any ideas? That wouldn't work. <laughs> uh, that won't. See what I, I do this. I just go a bit mad. Hmm. I don't know what to do, chums. I do not know what to do. I couldn't get near the pot unseen. How the hell can we get past there? I out. wasn't going to <laughs> risk being caught walking back down the stairs. Hmm. Okay, so we've got Pablo, we've got the general. Nothing we can do there. Boxes that she can't do anything with. We've got a round of ammunition. I mean, could have slung that over there, surely. I couldn't get. It smelled copper. Hmm. I don't know what to do. It smelled copper. I couldn't get near <clears throat> the crates and drums. If Pablo had hmm. it was a small screw fit cylindrical housing. Make a pipe bomb. That won't do. Um, that is. Um, oh, I'm stuck. I'm really stuck. Back down again. Hmm. Did we try talking? No, she, yeah, she's got nothing to say to him. Okay, okay, okay. There hmm. was no. Don't know what to do. Could try giving the ammo to uh, one of these. I missed something. <laughs> Not 
Now she picks the damn thing up. Flame, but we could generator. No. Hmm. Need to set that on fire, I suppose. <laughs> I'm not surprised that didn't work. Interesting. Okay, so we can pick the torch up now. So it's got to be something over here that we can use it with. No. Okay, can you take it up? Still have that lighter gun you pull on me. So I'm using. Forgot about that. God damn it. Okay. What's going on over there? Do you need help, my pretty? Nothing's wrong. Huh, I dropped no point. Uh, a cigarette, but everything is under control. I'll have the fire out in a minute or two. The fuel was burning violently. Right, now we can do what I was thinking of doing up there. Yes. happening trouble give it up the pyramids surrounded I'll find out what the trouble is watch Dover doesn't pull any tricks if he does shoot him in the head not through the heart why does it matter he'll be dead either way his heart belongs to Tezcatlipoca that's not true <laughs> we just had dinner a couple of times George just handles pressure so well good right we're up there was a. Ah, uh, shit, what do we do? I'll tell you what, I'll, pull, I'll save it quick. Shush. Okay, right. Uh, let's go to the incense pot. <laughs> okay. Bash him over the head. Drop the gun or I shoot. Good. <laughs> Please don't hurt me. Don't worry yourself. My finger isn't loaded. <laughs> Nico, what are you doing here? Firstly, I'm going to set George free and then screw up Karzak's scheme. No, I can't let you do that. Karzak has promised me power. Raoul, wake up. The only thing Karzak has on offer is death. You may want to ask Oubier, except you can't. Karzak murdered him. You're lying. Oubier is in Europe. Sure he's in Europe. In London, on a mortuary slab with two bullet holes in him. But Karzak promised. When he frees Tezcatlipoca, we'll all be granted great power. Listen to her, Raoul. Karzak's insane. I, I, I don't know. I, I need to think. You've let your mother do your thinking for you up to now. You need to think for yourself. Your mother and Karzak think alike. There's only one expendable member of the plan left, and that's you. Mother would never betray me. Oh, I'm tired of trying to reason with you, Raoul. Titipoco. 
Watch this man, and if he makes a move, shoot him with your gun. <laughs> There's a gun behind you, another. <laughs> Looks different to the gun he had before. Just saying. Okay, we can go in there, but this time we've got to save George. Hold still, George. I don't want to sacrifice you by accident. You have no idea how glad I am to see you. They were going to cut your heart out. I think I can guess. We can save the happy reunions for later. We've got to move. Come on. Okay. Hello. We're safe. This is a dead end. We're toast. <laughs> I know, Tidipoko. I'm not too happy here either. He knows this is Tezcatlipoca's pyramid. The house of the enemy. Well, we can't stay here like rats in a trap. All right. And we can't go out the way we came in. It would be suicide. I'll have a look round. Maybe there's another way out. In the meantime... Let's make love. Take this. It's the Coyote Stone. It might bring you luck, I hope. You managed to recover the stones from the village? Then we might have a chance after all. Incidentally, what would Titipoco have done if Graciento had moved? Titipoco? Nothing. He's given up violence. How strange. Okay, he's, he's still saying that way. Right, we're back in control of George. Or are we? No, we're not. Damn. By the door was a pattern picked out in blue. The pattern meant nothing to me. Hmm. On the wall was an intricate pattern in blue and gold. It meant nothing to me. The pattern seemed to have only religious significance. Mm -hmm. It was Titipoco. It was Georges, <laughs> just rescued from certain death and not looking suitably grateful. <laughs> Great big pattern there. There was a large image on the wall of a man in ceremonial garb. More usefully, there were also a couple of levers. Talk to George. George? Yeah? There was nothing I wanted to talk to George <laughs> about just then. <sighs> right. The lever was made of stone. Pull it. Oof. The lever was very difficult to move and appeared to do nothing anyway. She gets up too soon. Heave! Still <laughs> no good. Right, so we need George to help us. George? Yeah? Yep. George, I can only pull one lever at a time and I think we need to pull both together. Okay, I'm up for that. Pull my lever. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> I did the wrong thing. Raul, there's something suspicious. Go this sacrifice! Where is it? Nico was here with Titi Poco. They set him free. I couldn't stop them. You idiot! I should have strangled you at birth. Titi Poco's okay. gone soft. He wouldn't have hurt you. I know that. The darkness of this honey is almost upon us, and we have no sacrifice to appease this Poca. Have you any idea what your incompetence will cost us? I think so. And I'm glad. 
What? The Mayans weren't fools. Tezcatlipoca should stay exactly where they put him. Finally got some backbone from somewhere, huh? Shame it's so late in the day. I'd rather die than see you and Karzak with that devil's power. Fine, we're still a sacrifice. That's enough. See, the eclipse begins. Pablo, kill him! <laughs> this Catlipoca can feed upon his yellow heart. Nico was right all along, but it's still not too late. Come on then, Pablo. Let's see who sacrifices who. Okay. Good, we're not dead. What place is this? I was in some sort of strange room. Tiles and dials. The priests who designed this place must have known how to use them. I was going to have to figure it out for oh myself God. if I ever wanted to get out of here. I was going to have to figure it out. It was chance. the great stone head that had spat me out. It reminded me of an ex-boyfriend. On both counts. Good lord. The chute I'd arrived on was too steep and slippery to get back up. Okay. Mayan... Mayan machine. The room was dominated by an enormous device, decorated with the usual Mayan motifs. It held two great discs, each covered in glyphs. Hmm. Hmm. Tezcatl... Tezcatlipotl... whatever it's called. Those are his titties. Anyway, right. Oh, we've got a key here. Oh, hell. So maybe we have to match these up. The dial didn't want to move. God, don't like look at there this. were several tiles with glyphs on them. There was a statue of a monkey. Some sort of religious significance? The monkey held a board containing more tiles with colored glyphs on them. Mm-hmm. I see, I see. So these are amalgamations of these things. So this one is this one combined with this one. But how do we select them? The tile didn't move at all. The tile... The tile didn't... Mm -hmm. Try that one for The that. tile... Okay. There's got to be a way of accessing this machine. <clears throat> That's the way out. That's a dead end. Right, so... Right, let's try pushing these then. The dial didn't want to move. That's very annoying. Hmm. Oh. Okay. these correspond with the other oh goodness we're going to be here all day okay let's try and form one of these things then if that's how you do it oh this is going to be a, an absolute wounder so this one here with the this what is it where rabbit ears um, combines with the big one with the two doodads. So rabbit ears and doodads. Is there corresponding? Well, that's doodads there. And there's rabbit ears. Does that work? God, I'm going to go right the way around. I don't know about this. This is a very... oh my god. Turn out a look at this. Right, rabbit ears. 
and that. That doesn't work. Right, ah, uh, wait a minute. That one with rabbit ears. I don't like look at this. <laughs> See, that would be it, so that's all worked. Hmm. Good Lord. Um. I'm missing something here, aren't I? So. Let's pick this one. So it's that one. That one plus. The dial didn't. It's that plus that. Is there a corresponding? So we've got this shape. I mean, now we've got those lined up, we can touch this one. The tile. <sighs> that would have been good. The tile. Okay. So these are amalgamations. These are individual ones, but the individual ones on here aren't corresponding with these. Ah, wait a second. Yeah, I think I know. So we have to match. So this one's got the cross and this sausage. So if we match cross with sausage, yes, let's try that. Oh, this is a really long one, eh? Sausage me up. Might have to fast forward this bit. <laughs> it's going to take a bloody day. Right, sausage with cross. If this doesn't work, I don't know what to do. Right, those two. So that would correspond with this one, so that might push in now. Yes, you beauty. The dial moved slightly. Right, so we've done, right, <laughs> bear with me. So the other one to do is this thing here, with the free doodads, so pebble thing with free doodads. So we've got free doodads here, so if I press the right mouse button, hopefully it, it does it. It was the great disc. No, we've got to go all the way around, bloody hell. Oh no, it's right there, good. And this one here. That wasn't too bad. It's not a bad one to solve. Okay, so now we should be able to press in this one. Good, right. So now we should be able to press this one. Yes. The dial moved inwards and clicked home. Okay, right. Next. Rabbit ears with grill. There's the grill. I'll just do them in order that I'm seeing them. It's probably a more efficient way, but... Rabbit. Good. So I can press that one. And the other one is so what's the other one it's combined with? Um This one. 
So brown blob with blue and white says that one there. Okay, so big brown blob. Just that one, I guess. This one's got to go right the way around. Whoop de do. Oh, this is long. Matey, matey's been shot by now, surely. Where's George, anyway? Uh, right, so that was this one. Okay. Well, what the fuck happened then? Okay, is that right? Yeah. Um, right, next one. Oh, good. Right, flower, brown flower with green doodad. There's the brown flower. Where's the green doodad? There he is. with a white fringe and um, sleeping doodad. White fringe and sleeping doodad. Yep. Uh, there's sleeping doodad. White fringe is there. Okay. This is a good puzzle. It's just a bit laborious. Do that. Okay. Here we go. Good. And you go. The tile didn't <gasps> move at all. What? Wait a second. So is that one? Oh, I pressed the wrong one. The tile didn't want to move. Yeah, I've got the, the two corresponding ones in. The tile didn't... Oh, hell. Oh, wait a second. There's a blue background behind the flower, so it'd be this one. Oh, that is tricksy. Very tricksy. Ha-ha. <laughs> Very good. So that's that one. Yay, The tile didn't move at all. Okay, I've got to do that bastard again. Shit. Brown flower and doodad. Brown flower. Oh my god, this is long. Okay, doodad is there. And brown flower. Yeah, so if you, after the second one, the third one will reset the first one you've done. Uh, devious. Wish they'd made this slightly uh, easier, though. Um, easier to pull off. 
Um, right. Okay. Yeah, because this. I'll depress the other one. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Good, good, good. Right, last but not least, we've got Wingnut Hat. Wingnut Hat and two doodads, whatever the hell that is. So, Wingnut Hat, and that's. Is that the doodads? Right, there's Wingnut. The doodads must be that one. This one here, so three blue beans and a strange blue edged thing. So three blue beans and that one there on the left. Okay. We're getting there, we're getting there. Yep. I'm going to save this. <laughs> Not doing this again. Okay. So it's that one. Good. Okay. In you go. You beauty. <laughs> Et voilà. George once told me that there's an act to finding secret doors. I think I'm beginning to get the hang of it. We're saving this. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. There's not so I here. thought this is it, you know? This is true <laughs> love. Anyway, I have to leave for a few weeks, and when I come back, what do I find? Uh. Damn right. And with who? Labano, <laughs> that creep. Mm. Huh? Yeah, that's exactly what I thought. Very good. Tito Poco's had enough. Okay, hey, cool. We're back in control of George. Oh, heck. Rats. Looks like another dead end, Titty Poco. Any ideas? I was hoping for something a little more constructive. Never mind, I'll have a look around. Hmm. Okay, we got something. There was a torch in a sconce by the doorway. Yeah, we'll have that. Hmm. Oh, mate, he's got his lighter, hasn't he? to light this torch. Can you do something clever with a couple of sticks or <laughs> flint and tinder or... Nice. Or a cheesy novelty cigarette lighter as it turned out. Nice. A really creepy statue. <laughs> the figure held a skull and a bowl, probably for a heart to go in. Yuck. 
The only thing he could do with the statue was sit on it. And Tiddy Poco had beaten me to that. Hmm. Okay, so we don't have much to go on here. Just the statue. Tiddy Poco. It looks like I can go back out there though. Um, I don't know if they'll let us do that. In fact, we can't do anything. The only thing you could. It was Tiddy Poco. A new friend and a good listener to boot. <laughs> I had nothing else I wanted to ask the little guy. Okay, can we set fire to something? The only thing you could do with it. Set fire to Tiddy Poco? Yeah, so we're, we're locked here. There's nothing else we can do. So either it's crashed or yeah, I don't know. Hmm. Hello. It's a bloody lever. Well, there was nothing else to do around here, so I pulled the lever. Nothing's happened. Oh, I hate that. Don't <laughs> you hate that? Ah. Did it, Poco? Oh, my... What the hell? I wasn't expecting all this nonsense. Great. I had no idea where I was, no idea where the others had got to, and time was running out to stop Karzak. Still, I wasn't dead yet, so it wasn't all bad news. <laughs> okay, we'll have that. like that one. There was an unused torch up on the wall. Which the torch it? could stay there until I really needed it. Mm-hmm. Okay, we've got a door. we got another lever. Got another door over here. Bloody hell. Okay. Okay, I just had a brief pause because um, I was getting a bit of a headache. Anyway, it's the pressure of doing this wonderful game. Anyway, let's do this. Ooh. Charming. Oh my god, it's another puzzle. Oh hell. Okay, right, so we got a lever there, door. Right, we're gonna have lots of interconnecting chambers here. That torch that we lit, it'll be for the door when we finally open it. So, right, let's just start by just putting all the levers down. There was a lever on the wall. Damn right there is, George. Pull that thing. A stone slab that must have weighed tons sealed the door. All oh, right. Another doorway led out of the room. The doorway was sealed with a massive slab of stone. Can we do it again? Yes. Mm, this is going to be annoying. Okay. We'll start by doing the lever down, I guess. Um, let's go berserk with the levers. That's my first bit of logic. Statue. Hello. Lovely. Looks like my school gym teacher. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the statue looked like it doubled as an incense burner. So we could take the the torch and light it, I suppose. Okay, what's the betting that this one will close the bastard? We'll probably close this one. Ah, 
Aha! Did you see what happened then? This <laughs> reminds me, if any of you seen my playthrough of Lure of the Temptress. Every the time I think this place system. can't get any spookier, it does. How rapouche. The carving reminded me of Lane for some reason. There was nothing I could do to the carving, even if I'd wanted to, which I didn't. Lane? I can't remember who Lane is. <clears throat> Yeah, so that bit on Lure of the Temptress with the skulls, that was very annoying. But it required two people, your other character, that you could control. But it's, this is just George, so it's interesting. I'm hoping that doing this one will open that one. <clears throat> okay, I don't see the purpose here. Hopefully. What we've done will work. <laughs> this will probably be back at the start, won't it? <clears throat> yes, finally, I'm out of here. Well, that worked. That <laughs> was quite easy. Well, I'll be darned. Yeah, I was expecting Once something. More into the unknown. Oh, no. Go for it, George. Dead end, George. And we can't do anything. Freeze. Oh, there's a lever there. Cool. <laughs> Onwards and downwards, Mr. Stobart. <laughs> well, there was a freeze to look at there. Certain death. Well, I'll be darned. I want to look at the freeze. Let's do that again. Oh, okay. Okay. Certain death it is. Shall I say? I won't bother saving it. Yes, I will, actually. <clears throat> Go for it. Oh, so good. This was it. The pyramid's central chamber. Its dark heart. Once before in my life, I'd stood in front of a door and thought, this is it. If I go through there, I'm <laughs> going to die. I'd been wrong then. I hoped I was wrong now. This was the door that led to the central chamber and the smoking mirror. Your stones out, George. Aha. <laughs> Power Rangers, assemble. Oh, my goodness. Ugh. <laughs> oh, got a bloody rock in the way of ours. Oh no, and he's too short.
Well, I'll be darned. That's the end. Oh, well, that was very enjoyable. I wasn't sure whether to make the, that last part a new, um, another episode, but uh, it would have been about five minutes long. Hmm. What did you think of that? Um, I enjoyed it. Um, I still think I prefer the first game. Although this, the story in this one was more um, coherent. The other one, the first one got a bit muddy, I think. Um, but there were some bugs, weren't there? Which, which really, really annoyed me, I must say. Um, and if it weren't for the uh, solutions that I was looking up, it would just really made me uh, stumped and I would have probably given up with it. So, yeah. <coughs> but saying that, bloody enjoyed it. Who couldn't enjoy a bit of George action? Um, I must admit, I just I prefer just staying with one character, especially George. Um, yeah, I prefer just staying with one character, whoever it is. But George is a great character. Uh, but anyway, there we are. I believe the next all the following games they do the same thing. It's always switching between George and Nico, I think. Uh, but as long as George is there, I'll be there along for the ride. Um, and I will do the next three games at some point. But I'm going to have a bit of a break from Broken Sword for the time being. Um, but anyway, yeah, thanks for watching. I'm afraid this last episode's been a bit long, hasn't it? Hopefully, in the edit, I'll speed up the uh, the stone puzzle shit because that that took a while. Um, but I may not. I may make you suffer through it. Perhaps you'll enjoy that. I don't know. We'll see. Crikey, that's quite a quite a lot of people involved in this one. Okay, let's see what if there's anything at the end. Oh, 997. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, that's how it ends. We just got a freeze frame of this bit where T. Cow's the pottle is uh, stuck behind the smoking mirror. Lovely. I'll tell you what, what I'll do is I'll bolt onto the end the um, uh, the uh, Easter egg. Okay, so cheerio, and uh, hopefully that will be coming up next. Thanks for watching. Cheerio. Okay, so right, as far as I know, there are three Easter eggs. Um, and this is the first one. So we're going to talk to the goat. So I half remembered this, when I, but I didn't do it right. No. Lucky lump of coal. <clears throat> what, uh, what, what was that? It's a lump of lucky coal. <laughs> ca, ca, coal? I, I would have, uh, I would have preferred uh, chocolate. Uh, any any uh, flavor, so long as it uh, hasn't got uh, uh, mar marzipan. In it. <laughs> God, I I, I hate uh, marzipan. You can talk. I I mean, you're a talking goat. K keep keep your voice down. The, the, this is is between you and me, right? Well, I guess so. Now I I I I, I mean it. You, you 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 tell anyone you've spoken to me, and 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 you'll be cursed. Whoa. That was scary. Can you say any more? No. Okay, that sounded like the voice actor that plays uh, George Stobart doing a Jimmy Stewart impression. It was very good. Okay, on to the next. Okay, now, if you'll remember when I was playing this, I got halfway to doing this. I did the right thing, and it's to do with the bar of chocolate. Um, so you give the chocolate to the ghost, but it disappears. The ghost obviously didn't want to talk. Perhaps it was shy. Now, what I should have done was gone back here. And we can now go down here. Mm -hmm. I haven't watched this, so... Who 
the hell are you? Joey, mm -hmm. is that you? That's a character from Beneath a Steel oh, Sky. I remember you now. Hey, listen, don't go near that hole. Nobody tells Robert Foster what to do, lady. You don't understand. I've played this game before. There's something horrible in that hole. Some beast with tentacles. You're nuts. <laughs> Crikey! <laughs> they don't make animations like that anymore. That was nice. Okay, yeah, that was nice. It's a pity I didn't do it at the time. Uh, Beneath the Steel Sky was the adventure game that followed Lure the Temptress. I've never played it, but I will do it on here eventually. Anyway, on to the last Easter egg. Now, this one we could have really benefited from because it saves doing the whole of this bastard Mayan machine nonsense and it's a little bit naughty. Now what you've got to do is there's a secret button here but it's quite hard to get. It's like, oh see, it's just one single pixel. There it is. Watch what happens now. Oh, Nico. Good lord. A wiggle. <laughs> Et voila. A wiggle. Et voila. Okay, so we could have done that and saved all that nonsense. But there we are. That's what we do. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll be back soon with something else. Cheers. Cheerio. Ah.